arrived off of two planes. Went from Sydney to Brisbane and then went from Brisbane to Cairns, where I am now. Just wanted to give you a bit of a room tour at my room in Gilligan's. Oh, here's the bathroom. Looks quite decent. Sink area there. Bathroom there. Looks like you can store all your bits here. My bed is this one here. Looks like everyone else is out. And some space for my luggage there. And then we've got a balcony. Useful. This is the view from the balcony. Made my bed, put the sheet on, and I'm probably gonna go have a look around the hostel and find like a supermarket and bring some food back. So I wasn't um, making food in the hostel in Sydney because um, there was one kitchen for seven floors, which was hectic. Whereas here, I just um, went past the kitchen. There's like two people cooking. Um, you get a, f a kitchen for every floor, so I'm definitely going to cook here, save a bit of money, and be a bit more healthy. So I head to the shop, and then maybe in a bit later on, I will um, meet up with Lydia and Vic and see what's going on. One of the girls is reading Ego is the Enemy, though, which I've read. Love it. Love it. Something to chat about. <laughs> Jungle formula. This is going to be much needed. Got back from the um, Gilligan's pool party about half an hour ago. I met with Lydia and Vic. Met Vic for the first time, and they're who I'm going to be uh, travelling some of the East Coast with, so it was nice to meet them. We got in the pool, had um, a bit of a sunbathe, and I'm just they've invited me out to um, a barbecue that their hostel are having, so I'm just going to get ready for that now and then head to, I think we're having it at the lagoon. I did go and buy some tuna and rice for food tonight, but I guess I'm having a barbecue instead. I can eat the other stuff on another day, and I'm getting picked up tomorrow for snorkeling at 7.35 or something like that, so can't have too much of a late night, but we are going to go out in Gilligan's, so that'll be fun. me up at uh, half seven so I, I was out last night when I got to Gilligan's I went and did a bit of a food shop in Woolworths I made myself scrambled egg on toast 
then I um, text Lydia and Vic because they were chilling in Gilligan's. Turns out they weren't actually staying in Gilligan's, they were staying in the YHA. So, um, luckily though, they were chilling at Gilligan's for the day. So I sunbathed with them for a couple of hours. Um, it was a bit intense though, and we got in the pool. There was quite a few like drunk boys at Gilligan's. And um, we got in the pool, they were like throwing balls, uh, rugby balls and stuff. So it was a bit on edge. So the music in Gilligan's during the day was really good, but during the night the music was absolutely awful, so um, I'll come on to that, but I only stayed out for like half an hour at Gilligan's. Then Lydia and Vic invited me to a barbecue um, that their hostel was doing, so that was at, um, like near the Esplanade, near the lagoon. So that area of Cairns I actually love. I actually really love Cairns because the weather's perfect, it's like 33 degrees. Um, wow, there's waves. So they had a barbecue. I just had some tuna and rice before I went out. I thought better like try and eat what I bought, save money, don't waste food. So yeah, I went out with them for a bit and the people from their hostel were really nice. They had only met three days ago, but to me it looked like they'd known each other for weeks. And um, they were all really, really friendly and really nice. So I stayed with them for the night and we went back to the hostel. Um, I feel like it's easier to meet people in YHA than it is to meet people in Gilligan's because Gilligan's is so big. We're nearly back at the place where, we're, where we sat down. So walked most of the island just now. But yeah, going back to last night, then we went to Gilligan's, but Lydia and Vic and a few other people didn't get in because they were too drunk, but they weren't too drunk. I don't, they were just being dickheads. And then you had to pay to get in as well. I think it was like, I don't know, like a tenner or something, maybe a fiver. Um, so I ended up going in with a few of the people from the group that we were with. I think I was in bed by half one. I woke up this morning, alarm went off, got ready to be picked up at half seven, grabbed myself a quick Vietnamese coffee from outside, and then we come on this boat tour. So yeah, we did snorkeling. I'm so proud of myself for doing the snorkeling because I'm a bit scared of fish. I'm scared of everything, you know me. And I'm so glad Becca made this suggestion to come to Franklin, like so grateful because it's so beautiful. It's like one of the nicest beaches I've ever been on. It's getting a bit windy, hopefully you can't hear that. I'd heard of Fitzroy Island, so I was like, oh, what about Fitzroy? And on the, on the transfer that I was on, I was speaking to um, an Aussie woman, um, she's from Melbourne, and her, she said her sister um, came down, always went to Fitzroy, and um, she tried uh, Franklin for a change. She prefers Franklin Island now, so I think I came on the right tour. If I was only going to choose one, I'm glad I did this one. Um, yeah, we did that snorkeling, and I actually went out and saw the Great Barrier Reef. I'm so proud of myself for snorkeling, and I kind of jumped off the boat. Like, I didn't jump, but I um, slid myself off the boat, and then um, had a walk around the island. We had some lunch as well. We had some prawns, which were nice, and then some other bits I'll show you. So yeah, that was all really, really, really nice trip and I'm happy that I did it. Happy that I did snorkeling properly because I did some in the Philippines, but um, in the Philippines it was like, they didn't really explain anything or how to snorkel. And yeah, w water kept going in my mask, whereas they were really helpful today. And they also saw, I think we saw about seven jellyfish and they were able to navigate us elsewhere. And they said yesterday they saw a shark, but they're apparently harmless. And then we just saw a baby whale shark as well. When I get back, I'm gonna meet. So Tian sent me the Instagram of a girl she was friendly with over here. These sunglasses are way too big for me, by the way. Um, she sent me um, this girl's Instagram. And um, so I'm gonna meet up with JC, her name is Jacqueline. And then I got a text from Izzy, who was on my tour from Welcome to Travel, and she's just got to cook in. So I said, if you want me to come to the pool area with you, because it's a bit intense, let me know. And she said, let's go for a drink. So I'm gonna try and nap on the boat home, and then Owen will uh, then hopefully be well enough for a drink and not too tired. So yeah, that is my, that's been my time in Cairns so far. Put head back now and um, pack up our things, because we're gonna leave soon. Should be back around five.
hey from I'm not sure where we are what it's called but just stopped off at our first stop on the little road trip we've got I've joined Uncle Brian's tour our tour guide is crazy and really funny uh, we had like a probably like an hour's drive and now we've got an hour at this um, at this spot so we can do our first swim spot stop number one of four four others to show you and then we stay overnight in the rainforest somehow managed to get the double bed sharing with a stranger and yeah we saw some platypus at the end there I jumped in the lake I'm really proud of myself because I'm always too scared to do that but I did it I feel like I'm getting braver we had our tour guide Charlie who was telling us some really interesting things about um, psychedelics and just really entertaining the whole way like he he made today really but yeah i'll give you a little tour of our eco lodge now then i think we're gonna get some alcohol have some dinner and we're doing a nighttime canoe this is just a sort of reception guest seating area Oh, I'm having dinner? Mm -hmm. Okay. My veggie burger? How cute this is! I finally gave my hair a brush. Because we were swimming in fresh like because it's actually still soft. I washed it this morning and um, it's now like not greasy. feels like I've just washed it again because we went in the salt water we were in the fresh lakes and waterfalls it's really nice so pretty sure I can't take this with me because there's no way safe to put my camera or phone so I probably won't get any pictures from the night canoe but then I'll, and then again it's gonna be dark so I won't be able to show you guys anything but I'll tell you all about it and <laughs> breathing in jungle fever <sighs> gave myself with the room a spray like all the doors are open and the lights are on, so I will be. I feel like here though, it's hot enough for the bugs to live outside, so why would they come inside? <laughs> On the second day of the Uncle Brian's tour, 
before, Caleb took us to see some of the wildlife that lives in the Yungaburra area. First we saw a wild bull and then oh we got to feed the cute little wallabies. Hello. Hi. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry, I'm stealing it. Look at him holding your hand. Oh, Go. Oh. oh my god, is this a wallaby? Oh my god, it's kind of a bit different. Oh my god! Oh my god! This one's pregnant! This one's got one in the pouch! Not pregnant! He's in the pouch! Oh my god! This one's got one in the pouch! There's a one! Oh my god! He's one! Oh. There's a baby one underneath him! Just like the dinosaurs today are represented by the birds, the sucosaurs are represented by the crocs and alligators. How you doing? Yeah. yeah? Not bad, eh? Day two, bet around some common trees. So this morning we left the lodge at, I think it was like half seven, set off and saw some wallabies, I think they were called. There was a cute one with a baby wallaby in its pouch. I fed them. Then we had to get back on the road and come to, so it's like a river in um, the Daintree rainforest where you can see crocodiles but we did only see like a baby crocodile but that was still cute and then left there and nearly saw cassowary but unfortunately didn't bus is starting i better get back on um but we're heading out to i think cape tribulation for like a swimming swimming spot in the bikini so i'm gonna catch you up with them um, some voiceovers anyways Yeah, <laughs> it makes you close your eyes because there's another finger but when you close your eyes and flinch you can't see but it's another finger last stop at port douglas and we've ended the day with some mango on the beach but i, I don't like mango so um, Jelly literally went and picked these out of a farmer's farm. So when we got back from the Uncle Brian's tour, Caleb invited us back to his house. So we went there and um, I actually fell asleep in the hammock for like half an hour. And I didn't have much drink with me so I'd sobered up. Um, and then I briefly popped into Gilligan's at the end of the night, like half two, but it closes at three, so I mean it was pretty dead by that point. So then, yeah, just went back. Another thing I wasn't able to tell you about, um, I wasn't able to take you along for was the night canoeing. 
Um, we didn't see that many animals, and I found it quite hard to see in the dark, but the stars were really pretty. We canoed for about two hours, actually, and that was, I guess, the workout of the day, because we'd been sat for a long time on the bus. Uh, we spent a lot of time travelling, like, around the, um, the area called Atherton Tablelands. That was day one, um, in, like, a bit of a loop. And then day two was the um, Daintree sort of area in Cape Tribulation. So we did a lot of driving for those days. If I can remember correctly, the stop one on the Afton Tablelands was just a lake. So people were jumping in and I kind of wish I'd tried to do that because on our last stop of the day, I jumped in to a lake and I've never done that before. I've never jumped into a pool or a lake or anything off a boat. And um, yeah, I should have been brave to do it, but I've built myself up now. And so when I got the opportunity in the future, I want to try and force myself to do it. The second stop we had was the, I think, Josephine Falls. The third one was Mila Mila Falls. Now that was where they did the Pantene, you know, the Herbal Essence advert. So we did our hair flicks, just what I wore my hair down and got a really nice pick. We also had a nice stop for lunch as well, where we had vegetarian quiche and couscous was what the veggies had and um, yeah but honestly the Uncle Brian's tours are really good because of the tour guides if it wasn't for them like, we would have been stuck on this bus for ages but the tour guides literally made it and our tour guide Caleb on the second day because we had two separate ones the day one we had Charlie who was full of knowledge and wisdom telling us about like psychedelics um, telling us about like the Aboriginals because he's like um, he mentors Aboriginals and gets and mentors and gets mentored by them. So he had a lot of knowledge to share. Then Caleb had us on the second day and he was just so funny. Like I think he's actually um, like a, an aspiring comedian. So you can imagine what that was like. They're both really good storytellers, so they made it really entertaining. And if any, if I'd recommend anything in Cairns, it would be the Uncle Byron's tours. We did ask who Uncle Brian is, and he apparently sold the company, so he doesn't have any part in Uncle Brian's tours anymore. On the way back, we stopped at a bottle shop and got some drinks for the journey back. It was about an hour long, so in that time I drank nearly a whole bottle of Prosecco. Then, I was pretty drunk by the time I got back, and I checked into my new room, so I'm here now. There's, um, Joris is actually in my room, so the guy from one of the guys from the tour from the Netherlands, he's in my room. Yeah, we haven't done anything um, as a like, room yet, but they're already nice and chatty and easy to get along with, and none of them snore. So I've had a really good night's sleep, to be honest. I've been so lucky with my hostel rooms. And when I was going to sleep, like, we're the furthest away from the entertainment bit. You can still hear a low level, like, the beat, and it's not that quiet, but still got to sleep eventually. I didn't bring any earplugs, so just, yeah. Bring earplugs and you'll be fine. Coach picked me up at about um, 10 o'clock to take me to the Sky Rail. So I met a girl in my room called Amy and we went to, um, we decided that we'd book a trip to Caranda. So we paid a hundred pound, I don't think it was worth a hundred pound for the Sky Rail experience, which is about 40 minutes on one of those cable cars that you have when you like go skiing. So it's such a hot day, like the hottest day here yesterday and couldn't cope because on the way back we had to get the train and it was one of those old trains with like no air con. So the only ventilation we had was the windows. So yeah, that was hell. Um, we got a bit delirious and I kind of forgot that I'd met Amy in my room and I was like, oh, you've been in room 229 as well. We were just laughing because we were just like, the heat got us, it was so funny. Uh, oh, well, I'll tell you about Coranda as well. So um, all the cafes seemed to close at about two. So we had to quickly find some food. In the end, we found like really nice place. I had a, like a falafel breakfast wrap, so tasty. Um, and an iced coffee. So we found some good food in the end, but we walked around so many places and we were just like, places that were busy but then the menu was just like fish and chips, like unhealthy stuff that um, just like you'd, you'd have for like maybe a pub dinner, but not for lunch on a hot day like that. So glad we found um, the cafe. And then we went to the bird sanctuary, which was probably my favorite bit and what made my day. 
managed to hold a bird. So initially when we got in there, um, one landed on my shoulder and I like, screamed, dropped the food, very me. And then um, had a little walk around and saw Cassiwary, my first one. It's kind of small though compared to the ones that they have like statues of. Then, then when we got back to the bit where we started, because the bird sanctuary wasn't very big, but it was well worth it because this person was like, holding this small bird on their finger and passed it over to me and then I fed the bird so I was so happy that I did that. I do love birds but they're just so on edge and jumpy so I think birds are my spirit animal actually. There wasn't really all that much to do in Karanda but we did walk around and have a look in the shops and the markets. We also heard about the mango wine tasting you can do so we visited a store and tried uh, three different ones. We tried a sweet, a dry and a lime limoncello one. Uh, it was free if you purchase a bottle, but if you don't, it's $1 per shot, so we thought we'd have a few of those. Our train was booked for 3.30, so we had time to kill anyway. Um, I've heard people enjoy doing the walks, but it was way too hot on this day to do a 5k walk, so we didn't bother. Shortly after we, we left, went on the railway, nearly died of heat exhaustion, but made it, and then got the transfer back, got back around 6, and then I... Um, Yoris in my room, and then um, Evan, who we'd met a few nights before, we went to the lagoon, had a little swim, and then um, Amy came and joined us as well. Went to a place for, I had um, Cajun salmon chips. Today is Thursday, so I leave on Saturday to go to Magnetic Island. Today I've got my last activity here, which is white water rafting. I don't have a waterproof camera, so I can't show you any of it. In just under an hour, I have to go and get a transfer down to the Tully River. So I spend like five hours on the river, and then I think we get dinner afterwards. Izzy's here from my tour in Sydney, and it's her birthday today, so I was gonna get her a cake and candles. She's here solo traveling, and um, I'm not sure how many people know that it's her birthday, so yeah, it'd be nice to do that for Izzy. She's lovely. But yeah, I better go now. I'm a bit hungry, so I'm going to make probably some egg on bread. It's not going to be very nice, but it is. I just need to eat something cheap, and then, and then yeah, um, I'll let you know how the river rafting goes. And if I fall out of the boat, ugh. Oh. It's another thing I'm doing that scares me. So maybe I'll call this vlog "Doing What Scares Me in Cairns." So yeah, I will speak to you later. Before I got on my bus to Tully for river rafting, I bumped into Izzy in the kitchen and we went for a coffee at Cathy End before my bus journey. Birthday girl! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Raging Adventures Group Bus, uh, I think that's what it's called. That's the tour I'm on. We've just stopped in Tully so people can grab some food, but I've got some fruit with me and I've got a squashed Quest cookie, protein cookie, 15 grams of protein, which I got the other day, so I don't need to get anything. Um, after I last vlogged, I itched all my fucking bites. They're really fucking itchy. Um, like a million bites on me. Forgot to bring my bug spray as well. Not ideal, but after I vlogged last in my balcony, I went for a coffee with um, Izzy, because it's her birthday today. And then we went across the road to a nice cafe and um, Got a nice latte. Fly. Really humid on this bus. Actually, to be honest, it's so humid outside. I might have a little walk around because we've actually got like 45 minutes here. And apparently we'll be back around 9 tonight, so it's earlier than I thought. So I'll be able to see Izzy because Yoris is going to go and buy a cake and we're going to sing happy birthday to her. Keep stopping because I see people who look like they're coming in and they get embarrassed. But yeah, I am... I'm just going to take a walk because it's so hot and the supplies on the bus. So, looking forward to rafting. I've had like a two hour journey here. So, I'll let you know how it goes.
rafting yesterday was really fun. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. But after having so many tours booked this week, I just took Friday to do some laundry and have an explore of the rest of Cairns and um, relax by the lagoon. Aloha. Today is my last day, last full day in Cairns. Thought I'd have a bit of a productive uh, day doing chores and laundry and stuff, so I did that this morning. And now, and then I went to the lagoon and uh, I was gonna go to the gym, so I might do that. But before I do, I'm gonna have a look around the harbour area. This is full on vlogging in public now. I'm just having a day to myself today, really. It does feel a little bit weird though, because some of the people I was hanging around with have left now. Either gone up north or gone down to like Melbourne, so. Just, yeah, I'm kind of ready to leave Cairns now because, yeah, I would love to like spend some time here with people, but there's like these chill bean bags. But, um, I've got no one to chill there with, so I'm not sure how big this place is, but I'm not planning to have a big walk, so I'm just gonna I think people are looking, <laughs> gaining confidence here. Sooner. I just had a walk along the harbour and I wish I'd gone there sooner because there's loads of pretty nice looking restaurants so if I come back here I'll definitely be spending a lot more time in the harbour area. Then I was walking back and I saw these bean bags, uh, this licensed cafe that sells gelato called Moose so I'm just chilling here and had a um, happy hour crap roll spritz feeling slightly happy. <laughs> Um, happier than earlier because yeah I just like I don't know I just felt ready to move on from Cairns but I actually really like this area now so it's a nice place to chill also that place that I said looked quite posh was the Salt House which they actually apparently have a backpack a night there on a Thursday and I think it actually gets quite busy so um, they have live music on a Friday but it didn't look like any backpackers were in there and I thought probably really expensive so um, I didn't go in there but I do kind of want to go in there now so I might um, it is 10 past 5 now so I doubt I'm gonna go to the gym bad but obviously you're gonna have an early night I need to like make sure my stuff's packed for tomorrow need to get up tomorrow probably like six latest because I need to be at the bus stop for seven to go to Townsville then I'm getting a ferry over to Magnetic Island and I need to make friends because that's the place where you rent a car like a Barbie car and then you drive it along um, well you need it to get around the island really or you can rent a bike but I'm not confident driving so I'd rather drive a car than a, like a scooter or anything so hopefully I make some friends but we'll have to see what happens Obviously I didn't end up going to the gym after I'd had a few Aperol spritz on happy hour so I went back to the hostel and actually had uh, some more drinks and then I didn't spend too long there because I was pretty hungry but just thought I'd show you some of what Gilligan's actually looks like uh, as you enter sort of the bar area and this is what also what the laundry looks like as I w where I was earlier. But when I went back to the hostel room, um, a girl in my room called Eleanor, she fancied going for food with me. So we went for a drink in Salt House while we waited for a table to become available. And then we went to an Italian and had margarita pizza. So that's how I ended my time in Cairns. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog. Please stay tuned for more of my East Coast trip where I'll be going to and starting off with Magnetic Island. Overall, I loved my week in Cairns, and I do think I spent the right amount of time here. I could have done another week um, if I had been with well, people who had decided to stay here, but with people going down the East Coast, um, lots of people decide to leave, so it does get a little bit lonely when that happens. But that's all part of travelling, and I will definitely be back to Cairns if I get the opportunity.